Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I am happy to welcome the parents, guardians, relatives, and friends of our graduates to the 2024 Salem High School commencement ceremony. We request that everyone remain in their seats during the entire ceremony and refrain from any activity that would take away from the importance of this very special event. Please be considerate of those people seated around you and our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to honor the graduates of the class of 2024.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the presenting of the colors by the MCJROTC in the national anthem that will be sung by the Salem High Chorus and Chamber Choir. Thank you, MCJROTC, Ms. Nabrakowski, Mr. Shurtok, Ms. McTaylor, band, orchestra members, and vocalists. Please be seated. I would like to acknowledge and thank our elected officials who are in attendance tonight, as well as any retired or active military personnel and first responders. Please stand at this time for a moment's recognition. Thank you for our service to our community and our country. I would also like to recognize the following staff members who are retiring this year. We thank them for their years of dedication to Salem High School and wish them all the best. Ms. Paula Geist and Ms. Jody Rendazzo. At this time, I invite Liam Batista, class vice president of the class of 2024, to come to the podium. Thank you, Mr. Burns. My name is Liam Bautista, class vice president, and it is my pleasure to make the introduction of our honored guest for this evening's ceremony beginning to my right. Dr. Stevens Reich, superintendent of schools. <laughs> Ms. Kate Carboni, deputy superintendent of schools. <laughs> Mr. Dominic Pangalo, honorable mayor of Salem. Mr. Ty Hapworth, City Councilor. Ms. Mary Manning, School Committee Member. Mr. Manny Cruz, School Committee Member. Ms. Amanda Campbell, School Committee Member. Ms. Beth Ann Cornell, School Committee Member. Mr. A.J. Hoffman, School Committee Member. Mr. Glenn Burns, Principal of Salem High School. <laughs> Ms. Megan Groskop Souza, Director of College and Career. 
Mr. Mario Souza, Director of Career and Technical Education. <laughs> Ms. Lynn Mullen, Assistant Principal. <laughs> Ms. Leanne DeRosa, Assistant Principal. <laughs> and Ms. Mel Roche, Assistant Principal. <laughs> it is now my distinct honor to invite our class president, my best friend, Chloe McGee, up to the podium to address our class. Alumni, faculty, family, and friends, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us tonight to celebrate such an important steps in our lives, the end of our high school career. The ending of my high school career is not the only end I am celebrating today. Today is the end of my childhood. Today is my 18th birthday, the day that I am officially and legally an adult. This means that I can now buy lottery tickets, serve on a jury, and get charged for an adult crime. What you may not know, though, is that this means my future is now completely in my own hands. I am now in charge of paving the path to my future. My goals, dreams, and aspirations now lie completely on my shoulders. Tonight is not only about me, and while I wish it was, this isn't the biggest birthday party in the world. We're here for all the lovely people dressed in red sitting in front of me who are in the same position as me, with dreams and aspirations sitting on their shoulders. Seniors, the red caps on our heads tonight signify that we made it. The past four years are officially over. The most important thing Salem High has taught me is that it takes a village. I was raised by a single parent. My mom spent every day of my childhood making sure that I was happy and taken care of even though she worked a nine to five. Raising me probably would not have been easy, even if I had two parents, so you can only imagine how hard it was for my mom to raise me all on her own. Except the thing is, she wasn't on her own. She had a village. I was raised by not only my mother, but uncles, aunts, sisters, grandparents, neighbors, and family friends. I owe, who I, I owe part of who I am today to all of them. Our journey to this moment has been shaped not by individual effort alone, but by the collective support of a community. During times of difficulty and doubt, our communities have lifted us up and helped us pave the way. As I entered high school, my village only began to grow. I met teachers, coaches, and friends who quickly became my pillars, inspiring me and pushing me to be the best version of myself. Growing my village made me more successful. All of you sitting before me are success stories, and every success story involves countless hearts working together. My time at Salem High would not have been what it was had I not had the love and support of my village. Had it not been for Ms. Bright, Ms. Parker, Ms. Coleman, Mr. Marcou, Coach Alexis, Coach Barton, Mr. Massey, and many, many more, I would not be where I am today. These teachers were and will always be a key part of my village and shaped me into a curious and ever-learning individual. But where I get my ultimate inspiration from is my best friend, Liam Lorenzo Lau Bautista. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> We spent the last four years together searching for the perfect third member of our dream team, but standing here today, looking back, our dream team has always been complete. All we ever needed was you and me. Fellow classmates, I urge you all to look around and think about your people, your villages and communities. Think about the people who push you to do better, the people who never let you believe for one second that you couldn't. We are our own village. For the last four years, we have pushed each other, we've championed each other, and we have had fun along the way. These last four years have had their ups and downs, but those circumstances have made us who we are today. Despite us all going our separate ways after tonight, we still have in co what we still have in common is that we are all on the brink of something new. As you take this next step, never forget the power that comes with community. Thank you to everyone who has been a part of our journey. journey. We achieved remarkable things, and I can only imagine what the future holds for us. To the class of 2024, congratulations, and thank you for being a part of my village. It was an honor to be your president and a part of each of your individual communities. Thank you. It is my great pleasure to invite the mayor of the city of Salem, the Honorable Mr. Dominic Pengalo, to the podium.
Happy birthday. Uh, good evening, everyone. And on behalf of the City of Salem and the Salem School Committee, I want to congratulate each of you on this incredible achievement. Today is a remarkable day, a day you'll remember for all of your life. Not only is it your graduation, it also marks the end officially of your relationship with your yonder pouch. <laughs> I'll give you a minute to process that. I know it's, it's a lot, but you'll pull through. Now, the truth is you've pulled through a lot. When you started at Salem High School, the world looked a lot different, uncertain, frightening, and lonely. But you persevered. You found strength and support in one another and in yourself. And today, you're here. You're here thanks to the families and caregivers in your lives, thanks to the educators who lifted you up. But most importantly, you're here because of you and what you've achieved. You have earned this day. Before you leave us and you leave Salem, uh, I want to offer three requests for you to consider. First, be kind. Kindness costs nothing. Give it freely, give it often, and give it to yourself as much as you give it to others. Because you'll have setbacks and you'll make mistakes. The memory of those setbacks and those mistakes will fade in time, but not the memory of how you treated yourself when they happened. Second, don't underestimate yourself. You made it here and that took effort and it took skill. It took confidence in yourself. That won't change after you're handed this piece of paper. If anything, you'll need to step it up and recommit yourself to yourself. You can do hard work and make big differences in your life and in our world. And right now, our world needs difference makers. Last, never forget that we're here for you. Whether you grew up in Salem or just joined us recently, we'll always have your back because you may have a lot of homes in your life, but Salem will always be your hometown and we couldn't be prouder of it. To the class of 2024, the largest graduating class from Salem High School since 2015. Thank you for the honor of being able to join you for this special day. And congratulations on all that you've accomplished. I would now like to uh, invite to the podium Dr. Steven Zreich, Superintendent of Schools, to address the class of 2024. All right, good afternoon, uh, early evening to everybody. First, I want to start off with, uh, tomorrow I think we have a big baseball game, right? Let's go witches tomorrow against Linfield. Hope to see many of you there for the game, 10 a.m. But let's focus on the graduating class right now. Um, I want to welcome all our distinguished guests, school committee members, mayor, Councillor Hapworth, family, staff, and community members. You are a special group of seniors for me as I started in Salem during your first year of high school. I've watched you grow into scholars, musicians, leaders, athletes, and ambassadors for our, our great city. Despite the impacts of the pandemic during the first half of your high school careers, you've all thrived, earning countless competitive scholarships, awards, seals of biliteracy, career and technical certificates, National Honor Society recognitions. The list goes on and on. In the words of, I think, your generation, Generation Z, you have slayed the last four years. I'm not sure I'm using that right, but we'll see. you can correct me later. While these accomplishments are noteworthy, in isolation, they will not ultimately change what seems to be an increasingly unkind and unjust world. What will, in fact, make this world a better place is to graduate young people who are of impeccable character and consistently model selflessness and civility. I am proud to say that I believe that all of you embody these qualities. But the question is, what does this look like? I recently heard a song for the first time called Today I'm Gonna Try to Change the World by a Canadian songwriter, Johnny Reed. In the ballad, which I will not, don't worry, I'm not singing here today, Reed offers some very simple but powerful suggestions for what will make our world a more civil, equitable, and welcoming place. And he offers the following. Say hello to people and greet them with a smile. Shake the hand or fist pump the hand, that's a post-COVID thing, right, of a stranger and talk for a while. Tell someone that you love them from the bottom of your heart. Make sure your children know there's a right and a wrong. Never turn your back on someone in need. And my favorite, try to see someone, try to see yourself through another's eyes. 
Reed's message is simple as he urges us to take these basic steps to create a better, more peaceful, and inclusive world. So while the actions he proposes do not seem overcomplicated, it is shocking how infrequently humankind acts in a way that's consistent with these basic gestures of human decency and civility. Let's pledge all to be better, genuinely to listen to one another, accept responsibility, extend grace to those who are struggling, try to put yourself in someone else's shoes, and express admiration for all that is good in our world. This is the most important legacy that you can live, leave your children, your grandchildren, and the future citizens of this city. More than any accolade, this is the mark and legacy you want to be remembered for as you move through your life and career. So in closing, I'm grateful to your families for giving us the honor of educating you and allowing you to share your countless gifts with us during your years in the Salem Public Schools. Continue being you, don't forget your hometown, and congratulations to the class of 2024. At this time, I would like to welcome Mr. Glenn Burns, the principal of Salem High School, back to the podium. All right. Class of 2024, congratulations. It is my honor to welcome school committee members, elected officials, Salem Public Schools, faculty and staff, and most importantly, our families to this evening's celebration of the more than 220 graduates of the class of 2024. There are so many individuals that have supported us to reach this moment, some present, others not present. Okay, please, congrats. Please give a, a warm welcome to them and say thank you for all that they've done to uplift you and get you to this moment. Please do that, Salem High grads. Thanks. Today I have the honor to stand before you with great pride to celebrate the achievements that this talented group of witches have accomplished. I am be beyond proud of this class and all the progress they have made in academics, athletics, and the overall culture of Salem High School. While your high school experience did not start off like, like we would have wished, you didn't dwell on online learning and COVID restrictions. This class grew, thrived, and closed out your senior year with a tremendous amount of accolades and accomplishments. The class of 2024 has certainly left their mark on Salem High School in so many ways. The community you have worked to build is something that all sc schools strive to do, but few succeed to achieve. First, you have made remarkable strides in the area of academics. Through your commitment, determination, and drive for excellence, your class has been propelled to new heights. The class of 2024 had 111 scholars enrolled in early college courses. You have advocated for and taken advantage of improved CTE courses offerings with 95 members of your class investing time and energy into their vocational courses and are now leaving with industry standard credentials. Your academic prowess has earned you acceptances in more than 99 higher education institutions worldwide and provided you with more than $2.6 million in local scholarships just from Salem High School. There is no doubt you have been leaders throughout your time at Salem High School in the classroom, but this group has also set the bar high for their extracurricular engagements. Your dedication to every aspect of your schooling has brought about improved school spirit through arts and athletics. There has never been a doubt that Salem High School's performing arts is the pride of the North Shore. And with this class's commitments, we have witnessed the resurgence in athletics. The dedication of the members of our performing arts and coaching staff is second to none, and the class of 2024 took full advantage of their expertise to put Salem back on the map. Here's a few of these, these accolades. We are the 2024 Special Olympics North Sectional Champions. Our one act play placed in a competition in North, uh, excuse me, in Andover High School. <laughs> Members of the music department played in the New Orleans Jazz Festival this year. <laughs> Super Bowl appearance. 
Our basketball team's regular season win at the Boston Garden in a deep playoff run. A swim team that began its dominance. And the deepest run of our baseball team since 1990. And that's just a little snapshot of the many great things that you have all participated in and elevated at Salem High School. While these accomplishments in and of themselves are remarkable, what made them so special was our student body showing up and creating an atmosphere that was supportive, loud, and fun. However, arts, athletics, and academics is only part of the equations. Your efforts have fostered a vibrant and inclusive school culture that is nothing short of remarkable. Your classes work tirelessly with your teachers to create an environment in which every scholar feels welcomed and celebrated. Through clubs and student-led initiatives, school spirit is alive and well at Salem High School. Whether this be spirit fire or new events such as summer solstice, this class engaged and made it happen. As you reflect and enjoy all your achievements, and you should, don't become complacent. Take the skills, energy, and dreams you have today and turn them into the catalyst for tomorrow's accomplishments. Leave here today knowing you have reached an important milestone that came with twists and turns, but nonetheless you achieved it, and set new goals for yourself and dream bigger because you are only limited by your mindset. This class has shown that hard work, commitment, and consistency can do well for positive outcomes. Everything in our lives is a reflection of the choices we make. Continue to make the choice of excellence and hold everyone around you accountable to that standard. I have no doubt that your talents and commitment to excellence will lead you down a path towards greatness. And when life humbles you, and it will time and time again, recall your goals, your past journey, and keep going. Congratulations, class of 2024. At this time, I am pleased to introduce City Council President, Mr. Ty Hapworth, who will present the George F. McKay Book Award to a member of the class of 2024. The Salem City Council established a fund for an annual award to be presented to a graduating student of the senior class at Salem High School, who in the opinion of the principal best exemplifies the qualities of outstanding leadership and character. This award is given in the form of a book, preferably on government and entitled the George F. McKay Memorial Award. It is in memory of a gentleman who served his city with dignity and honor, a man who fully realized that the destiny of the city of Salem would be held by one of its greatest assets, the youth. Mr. McCabe served on the city council from 1966 to 1981. And it's my pleasure to present this award to the birthday girl, Chloe McGee. You consider this a, uh, a birthday gift from the Salem City Council, I guess. Thank you, Council President Hapworth, and congratulations, Chloe. At this time, Mr. Manny Cruz, Vice Chair of the Salem School Committee, and Ms. Megan Groskoff Souza, Director of College and Career, will present the awards from the Andrews Fund. Good evening. Uh, Prior to presenting the Andrews Fund, I just wanted to take a moment of personal privilege on behalf of my colleagues on the school committee. For the last two years, uh, we have been so fortunate to have an eighth member of our committee, the student representative, who uh, is a member of your class and has been a thoughtful, um, intelligent, and fierce advocate on all of your behalfs. Uh, so I just wanted to take a moment to recognize Natalia Feliz for her service to our city and to all of you. Thank you, Natalia, for your efforts. Um, oh, you don't have to come up. We're just thanking you, recognizing you. Uh, you've, you've done an amazing job on the committee, 
uh, bringing forth all the needs of your fellow students. So thank you. Um, so the Andrews Fund was established in August of 1863. The top ranking students scholastically of the graduating class uh, receive books of their own choosing from the income of this fund. The fund was a, a gift of George Andrews, who was a member of the Salem School Committee from 1852 to 1860. It is my pleasure to announce that the following students from the class of 2024 of Salem High School are the recipients of the Andrews Fund Award, beginning with the valedictorian. Tilda Reeder. Jessica Velaka. Austin Ryan. Emmy Whitfield. <laughs> Sen Wang Huang. Saeed Ramin. <laughs> Jessica Kajigal. Emma Boldry. <laughs> Tyler Bizjack. Aiden O'Laughlin. Casey Griffin.
Colin Bowker. It is with pleasure I invite Jessica Balaka, salutatorian, to address the class of 2024. Hello, graduates, parents, teachers, and guests. My name is Jessica Vladka, and I'm the salutatorian of the class of 2024. I procrastinated writing this speech. I actually wrote it all at 1 a.m. on Tuesday, the day it was due. I was trying to sleep when this graduation speech situation reminded me of a narrative I had to write for my 10th grade English class about an American adolescent experience. At that time, I felt like I needed to find a high school experience where, I've had, where I felt like I had improved myself. I had struggled with connecting with others, with speaking, and with anxiety for as long as I can remember. I had just turned 16 at the time, and I felt like I had no advice to share. Luckily, I realized at the last minute that despite my lack of progress, I was always reacting and adapting, whether it be through dark circles under my eyes or cutting my own hair. I found that it's okay to not have any answers. Ms. Chelly, a teacher I never actually talked to because I was scared of how cool she is, responded to my narrative with advice I carry to this day. She said, no one has it figured out. Just keep moving forward. That's all any of us can do, and we figure it out as we go along. Now that I've just turned 18, I am proud to, have say, I'm proud to say that I figured a couple things out, not including how to drive. That skill I have yet to work on. The first thing is, again, that you are always reacting and adapting, always. Even when you feel like you are doing nothing, you are doing something. You are choosing how to move forward. While this is a comfort, it is also an inherent responsibility. From choosing to wave at someone to ordering a ton of items off Timu, it has effects. Even when you choose to ignore other people's actions, those actions become a part of you and the people around you, a part of the way you see the world. I'm not saying to overanalyze how you live, but rather that no matter how you live, it is a form of art. Your life is created by the world around you, and every choice is a response to the world. It is beautiful, impactful, meaningful, and worthy of admiration. As Evelyn Wang says in the award-winning award -winning movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once, you are not unlovable. There is always something to love. Even in a stupid, stupid universe where we have hot dogs for fingers, we get very good with our feet. <laughs> Secondly, a sense of humor is an asset that may be greater than you think. I would like to take a moment to appreciate the humor within each graduate today. We take the, absurd the absurdity of the world and use it to make people laugh, and consequently make existence for others a little easier. This is a form of kindness. In offering this form of kindness, you can find beauty in simply existing to enjoy and protect each other's presence. I would like to end with another quote from Everything Everywhere All at Once. It is said by Wayman Wang, an initially rejected character who taught Evelyn to use ridiculous humor to heal the trauma of those around her, including the ops, which allowed them to push against the core issues of our suffering, overly competitive, and polarized society. You tell me it is a cruel world and we're all running around in circles. I know that. I've been on this earth just as many days as you. I know you are all fighting because you are scared and confused. I'm confused too. All day, I don't know what the heck is going on. When I choose to see the good side of things, I'm not being naive. It is strategic and necessary. It's how I've learned to survive through everything. I know you see yourself as a fighter. Sorry. I know you see yourself as a fighter, but I see myself as one too. This is how I fight. The only thing I do know is that we have to be kind. Please, be kind. Especially when we don't know what's going on. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2024. I would like to invite Ms. Groska Souza back to the podium. Uh, 
On Wednesday evening, May 29th, at our senior recognition night, many of our seniors received notice that they had won various scholarships. The generosity of the Salem community continues. Since that night, we have been informed of additional scholarships and awards. I will announce to you the names of the recipients, and I will ask the awardees to please stand at their seats for a moment recognition. Remain standing until all scholarships have been read. Please hold all applause until after all names have been read. Rebecca Vincent, Jaden Dancy Memorial Scholarship. Tilda Reeder, Betson McDonough Scholarship, Class of 1941 Scholarship, Rotary Club Scholarship. Jessica Velaca, 2024 Ellen Hardy Memorial Art Scholarship, sponsored by Salem Arts Association, Betson McDonough Scholarship. Austin Ryan, Betson McDonough Scholarship, Kiwanis Club Scholarship. Emmy Whitfield, Betson McDonough Scholarship, Rotary Club Scholarship. Sen Wong Hwang, Betson McDonough Scholarship. Saeed Ramim, Betson McDonough Scholarship. Jessica Kajikal, Betson McDonough Scholarship, Kiwanis Club Scholarship. Liam Bautista, Class of 1941 Scholarship. Riley Fennerty, Rotary Club Scholarship. Chloe McGee, Rotary Club Scholarship. William Naperkowski, Rotary Club Scholarship. Salem High School is very fortunate to be the recipient of a scholarship from the Reed Science Foundation named the Reed Family Excellence in Science Award. I would like to invite Ms. Kate Carboni, Deputy Superintendent, to make this presentation. Good evening. This award for outstanding excellence in the sciences at Salem High School is named for Norman H. Reed, who was born in 1891 in Salem, Massachusetts. For his entire life until the age of 102, he lived with a passion for science, geology, and exploring the world. With his geology background, he became a pioneer in developing the West Texas oil and gas fields in Borger, Texas. These fields, which he discovered in 1919, are still productive today. This award is given to four students who exemplify his commitment and skill to the sciences to help advance their college science studies next year. It is my pleasure to announce the winners of the Reed Family Excellence in Science Scholarships. Please stand after your name is read. San June, June. Maya Palazzo Zola. Pamela Payano Ortiz. and Tilda Reeder. Congratulations. Since 1994, we have awarded the most generous scholarship, which is a gift from the family of the late Arthur L. Flynn, former chief of the Salem Fire Department from 1940 to 1960. This year's recipients are, please stand, Jessica Kajigo, Layla McLean, Pamela Payano Ortiz, Tilda Reeder, Austin Ryan. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry. It is with great pride that I invite the class of 2024s valedictorian Tilda Rita to the podium. Good evening and welcome to the Salem High School graduating class of 2024, as well as teachers, staff, and supporters. I am proud to be here tonight graduating on the historic Salem Common in the center of downtown Salem. I grew up in Salem and have attended Salem Public Schools my entire life. I have worked at the Salem Public Library throughout high school and volunteered with the local nonprofit Salem Sound Coast Watch. 
In each of these settings, I have found kind, driven, and dedicated members of our community. I'm continually impressed by the number of people in Salem who care so deeply for their community and strive to contribute to its improvement. I would like to express my gratitude for my teachers, coworkers, neighbors, parents, and friends for all of their support over the past four years. I'm appreciative of the breadth of opportunity offered to us by the city, and I feel that my experience at Salem High has allowed me to develop in a social context as well as academically. From kindergarten to senior year, I have been lucky to be supported by teachers and staff that truly care about my success. Our class is the final year that experienced COVID during high school as we began our freshman year online. Despite having to adapt back to school in person, our class has only grown closer since then. As we move forwards, I encourage you to take advantage of opportunities offered to you. Think critically about your surroundings and form your own opinions. Balance your personal ambition with kindness towards others. Reach out to the people around you and ask for help because your community cares about you and wants to see you succeed. My mother recently told me that there is a whole world out there and you will be a part of it in a way that you choose. I hope that each of you can aspire to find a place where you feel individually successful and appreciated. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2024. Thank you. I am pleased to welcome Mr. Burns back to the podium. Now I would like to present the Salem High School Chorus and Chamber Singers under the direction of Miss Alexis McTaylor. They will be singing Measure Me Sky by Elaine Hagenberg.
Thank you, chorus, chamber singers, and Miss McTaylor. Now, with assistance from Drs. Reich, Ms. DeRosa, Ms. Megan Groskoff Souza, we will begin the presentation of diplomas. Please try to hold your applause until all names have been read so that each graduate can hear each graduate's name will be heard. Logan Valor Abood. Joshua Alexander Alcantara. Austin Allen. Lizzie Yerlene Almonte Geneo. Yuriani Altagracia Almonte Polanco. Oscar Giovanni Alvarenga Sanchez. Lillian Scarlett Alvarez Simmental. <laughs> Megan Sophia Amiat. Yeah. 
Elian Javier Arias Nunez. Al Arroyo. <laughs> Vanessa Alexandra Barrientos Perez. Yeah, <laughs> Matthias Sean Beckford. Yeheni Bolin. Destiny Valerie Bennett. <laughs> Heather Bernard. <laughs> Chloe Annalyn Blaisdell. <laughs> Jalen Edward Bradley. <laughs> Kaden Christopher Brewster. Angie Francisca Brito Marcel. Aiden James Burnett. Edward Lee Butler. Adrian Calderon. Yoansi Alexander Canala Reynoso. Josine Castillo. Yonel Castillo. Adrian Cepeda. Emily Lynn Chadborn. Joshua Francisco Chavez Rodriguez. Johanna Coleman. Annalise Corrine Colazzo. Jesneri Marielle Colon Vezquez. Angel Concepcion Ramirez. Patrick Jeremiah Conister. Jack Alden Cooper. Alex Correa. Fabian Cortez Fontanez. Matthew Jason Costa. Adla Cruz Villar. Jelani Cuevas. Kevin McCormick Sear. Nicholas DaCosta. Amani Jalen David. <laughs> Angel Felix Delion Laura. <laughs> Gerson Emmanuel Delivan Vital. <laughs> Camila De Los Santos Calderon. <laughs> Elijah Lazarus DeJanette Brown. Caroline Elizabeth DeVoe. Caroline, congratulations. Barbara Vendrame Diaz. <laughs> Ashley Diaz Rodriguez. <laughs> Jamie Lee Duffy. <laughs> Kaylee Yvette Dwyer. Damon Juba. Karma Kalisha Eastman. 
Malcolm Anthony Edwards. Teandra, Myra, Elsie, and Kronishian Cepedes. Dejanice Espinal. Aiden William Evitt. Barza Mustafa Fatala. Kyra Marie Fellow Hernandez. Jelani Yonabel Felix. Natalia Feliz. Wilmert Starling Feliz Colon. Riley Jonathan Fennerty. Olivia Cerise Fernandez. Rinelli's Judith Fernandez Souza. Alfred Francis Ferrioli Jr. Shane Connolly Field. Alexander Isaac Figueroa. Julia June Marie Floriel. Cameron Frias. Yazdani Galan Melian. Jerian Garcia. Melanie Elaine Garcia. Luis Alejandro German Pena. Ariana Gillette. John Christopher Veneration Gonzalez. Jaylene Scarlett Gonzalez. Erica Maria Gonzalez. Genesis Gonzalez Perez. Michael Rubenser Green. Corey James Grimes. Jacer Tariq Guizzi David. Yeah. Marilyn Victoria Guzman Angeles. Yeah. Simon Jude Toff Hammontree. Yeah. Alejandro Gabriel Hernandez. Jarlene yeah. Hernandez Ortiz. Paprika Pearl Stella Indersano. <laughs> Henesis Marilise Enoa Enciano. <laughs> Christian Jackson. Sanjuna June. Gichalita Tisa Jules. A 
Ignacio Kindo Santos. Alexander Alberto Lagos Bustamante. Alana Marie Lambre. Kristen Joseph Lane. Chelsea Alexis Leacock. Maya Leilani Leosa. Nadia Lebron. Jasmine Lemus Rodriguez. Connor Clarence Lilly. Charmille Rosalise Lariano. Ling Liu. Miladies Rosalie Liana Frias. Carl Woodney Lusant. Sophia Ann Lupus. Sarah Madera Pena. Xavier Cadet Malila. Denise Aurora Manion Fortunato. <laughs> Mia Martinez. Jakari Jamal Malpin. Layla Elizabeth McLean. Mateus Patrick McConnell. Isaiah Matthew McDonald. Juan David Mandrano. Antonia Luis Mejia. Kari Mims O'Neill. Francesca Lidiani Minani Lunas. Kiani Delinia Mirabel Nunez. Medellin Moyes. Anuri Alexander Mojica. Marie Lasse Makongo. Ignacio Antonio Molina Barbosa. Ciara Luz Manji. Diana Elise Montevallo. Miguel Morales. Joshua William Morton. Brianna Lendo Muempa. <laughs> Gus Oren Mulligan. Gus, 
Kiana Maria Myers. William Cameron Naperkowski. Shevek Narang. Unde Fatu Naso. Levinsky Eddie Nicholas. Angel Rafael Nunez. John Gregory O'Connell. Evelyn Oliveira Nunez. Gianna Claudia Ortiz. Julian Demarcus Ortiz. Devante Lamar Ozuna. Alexis Marie Pedowski. Nijesi Angelica Pagan. Maya Grace Palazzola. James Raymond Parisian. Hesley Alia Paulino Artisti. Pamela Nicole Payano Ortiz. Eliana Paguero Ricon. Rodnell Alexander Perez Manon. Chantel Mercedes Pimentel. Abdiel Benjamin Pimentel Cabral. Jacob Abdurrahman Pina Harding. Yosemary Polanco Reynoso. Jose Polanco Toribio. Dylan Polo. George Alberto Portillo Dubon Jr. Albert Rafael Pulios. Danielis Reynoso Jimenez. Axel Alejandro Reyes Vinoso. Joe Alexander Reyes Rodriguez. Adelise Desiree Rodriguez. Luis Rodriguez. Leo Dicemar, Denise Rodriguez Santos. Sharon Dennis Rodriguez Santos. K. 
Carrie Ann Marie Romero. Brianna Emily Simi. Lucas Santos Souza Diaz. Is Bailey Severino. Emmanuel Lewis Robert Sneed. Oscar Alejandro Solorio. Cameron Joseph St. Germain. Jada Lynn Steves De La Cruz. Roman Keith Stein. Oscar Isaac Suazo Hernandez. Colin Joseph Sullivan. Skylar Elise Sperker. Jayla Rose Tamilio. Adenelis Tejada Montano. Jendiel Jeremy Tejada Nunez. Trevor James Terrio. Alani Marie Torres. Romeo Leo Torres. Daniela Tritiak. Mariana Marcella Valer Darius. Aiden Efren Vargas. Elias Raphael Vasquez Bestardo. Ramir Velasquez Abar. Avio Vila. Mia Christina Vincent. Rebecca Vincent. Yael Vizcajino. <laughs> Philip Angela Wright. <laughs> Actrim Michael Jamili. <laughs> Samim Yasir. Anna Gabriela Ferreira Soares. Susanna Grace Castillo. Malachi Ryan Worley. Crystal Severino Fabian. Liam Lorenzo Lau Batista Jr. <laughs> Cla
Chloe Narissa McGee. Colin Dexter Bowker. Casey Andrew Griffin. Aiden Caleb O'Laughlin. Tyler Anthony Bizjack. Emma Sellers Boldry. Jessica May Mejia Cajigal. Saeed Abdul Halim Ramim. Sen Wang Hwang. Emmy Elizabeth Whitfield. Austin Christopher Ryan. Jessica Ann Velatka. <laughs> Tilda Louise Reeder. Congratulations to you all. We will miss you dearly. And now to conclude our ceremony, I proudly present to you the graduates of the class of 2024.